Hey, video gamers! Welcome back to Super Beard Bowl Season 4, the show where you go on the World Wide Web and vote for which show you want us to make next. This month, you voted for Nostalgia Hunters, where Alex and Brett will go to any lengths to try some of the most delicious discontinued food items from the past, and we got the whole office involved. Thanks for waiting for this one. It's gonna be worth it. The next public vote begins Monday, September 12th. But if you want final say on the matter, boot up your favorite internet browser and and head on over to patreon.com slash superbeardbros. Enjoy the show! It's green, it's tangy, and on the slime-covered box is one of the ugliest popular mascots children ever love. Disgusting blob. But why has this one delicious juice box become the stuff of legend for generation after generation of children? And what exactly does it taste like? Find out today as the Nostalgia Hunters track down Ghostbusters High C Ecto Cooler. I had Ecto Cooler so rarely that to me it was like getting like my grandma's special yeah, yeah, yeah. thing that she would cook. It was ubiquitous. Mm -hmm. Like it was ever, it felt evergreen, right? Like even after I had moved on from the real Ghostbusters, right? When like the Ninja Turtles came into my life, and I think even possibly even when the Power Rangers came into my life or right next to it. There was still Ecto Cooler there. Yeah. And then one day it was just gone. In fact, you know what it felt like? That's the, I mean, I never thought about it like this, but I feel like this drink, this drink felt like holding on to the last vestiges, the last lifeboat connected the to the Ghostbusters. Yeah. It's definitely not foreign to me. I don't know if I ha ever had my hands on it. Do you, you seem too young? You seem about be too young. What, what is it? I already looked into it, but I'm pretty sure I, I knew it before I looked it up. You drink high C? Oh, fuck yeah, high C. <laughs> <laughs> like the most adventurous as far as drinks were concerned for me was like Capri Sun. I would go to elementary school and like try to convince the kids to give me one. If I say the word Ecto, what does that make you think of? Ghosts. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and yet, you don't know what Ecto Cooler is? No. Well, when's the last time you remember having Ecto Cooler? Was there a, a 90 kid. in the year somewhere? Yeah, pr uh, probably. Yeah. Do you know why it's called Ecto Cooler? Yeah, it's a Ghostbusters like Grimer. Yeah, okay, okay. Like, it's like, oh, wait, Ghostbusters what? Ghostbusters Grimer. Slimer! No. Yeah. Grimer. Grimer is Pokemon. Slimer. I've been Ooh. playing Pokemon Snap. Who evolves into? Sorry. Evolves in into, my head. Sorry, he's got the 10 decks. Evolves on. into Smuck. Yeah. Right? Smuck. <laughs> if you had to put money on it, what flavor do you think Ecto Cooler is? I'll, tell you, um, I'll give you a clue. It is. It, a it's probably like lime. It's probably lime. For the greenish, right? Yeah, it's probably lime and orange or something like that. Would you try it? Absolutely. Okay. As a high C <laughs> drinker. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Care about the Ghostbusters at all? Yeah, I love Ghostbusters. Like, did you like when you were a kid? Who's your favorite character? Smeeter Spankman. <sighs> Smash Mats. It's Smash Ketchum. It's uh, Bill Murray for sure. What's his character's name? Ray. <laughs> I just, all right, all right. It's, it's not, is it? Let's move on. No, it's okay. <laughs> Let's move on. The origins of this elusive beverage from our childhood dates all the way back to 1947, when High C made its humble debut with a single flavor, orange. Keeping it simple with one option makes sense when you realize that the name High C was chosen due to the concoction's supposedly high vitamin C content. Regardless, by 1958, Heisey offered a whole stable of flavors, all available nationwide. And then everything changed in 1984 with the release of Ghostbusters, the sci-fi comedy horror that redefined what it meant to be a blockbuster film and also redefined what it meant to merchandise. The boys in gray were on t-shirts, lunchboxes, and video games, so an animated adaptation of the cultural phenomenon was inevitable. The real Ghostbusters premiered two years later, and it too was all about the merchandising. So much so that the brand struck a cross-promotion deal of biblical proportions with a familiar brand of fruit drink. 
they took an unassuming flavor that had been floating around since 1965 called Citrus Cooler, slapped Slimer, the Ghostbusters friendly live-in pet ghost on the box, and officially rebranded it as Ecto Cooler, much to the delight of children everywhere. What flavor was Citrus Cooler exactly? We didn't know. What did Citrus have to do with Ghostbusters in the first place? We didn't care. What color was the liquid inside the box? We never got the chance to find out since we were too busy slurping it down. Ecto Cooler allowed us to connect with the Ghostbusters at a time which was heretofore impossible. Lunchtime. This stuff was so popular that it managed to outlive the show that spawned it, which ended in 1991. But things started to get shaky for Ecto Cooler when High C removed Slimer from the box art in 97 without warning. Maybe now you'll never slime a guy with a positron glider, huh? But the busting was over for good back in 2001, when the flavor was officially rebranded as Shoutin' Orange, replacing Slimer with a poor facsimile. These green, blobby lips. Finally, all mention of Slimer and the Ghostbusters was gone from a once great product, paving the way for the flavor to be discontinued entirely in 2007. But that won't stop us from either hunting down a long lost stash of Ecto Cooler or recreating it ourselves. Back off, man. We're scientists. Please find Ecto Cooler. Ecto Cooler. We'll start Amazon. That's the that's the first place we're always going to start. This is See? Yeah, y'all don't know. This is how they get you. Looks like we found it, right? Yeah. yeah. Bullshit. That's a refrigerator magnet. These are magnets, dude. No. They're all refrigerator no. magnets. In 06, Shout Orange Tangerine was renamed Crazy Citrus Cooler, but then in 07, Crazy Citrus Cooler was discontinued. Look for Crazy Citrus Cooler. Not nothing. I nothing. need a huge margarita. You and me both, baby. No, a huggy. I need a hug e margarita. I need a. I need a <laughs> I need to eat margarita. I bet you we're gonna get a bunch of the Stranger Things. Oh. Yo. It is expired, but like. Yo. It's only 20 bucks though. Okay, hold on. Wait, what's this branding? Oh, that's from the. The like, Lady Ghostbusters, yeah. That's from 2016. Uh, not the same. Uh, oh, yeah. Not the same. Uh, but wait. Like, when did it expire? 2016? That's not that old. I mean. Would anyone here actually drink any of this? I'd sip it. March 6th, March 2017? Well, I'm the bitch. <laughs> I'm the bitch. We didn't say that. <laughs> Come on, though. It, look, it is a tangerine dead ass. Yeah, full on. Yeah, it's a tangerine. It's just a fucking picture of a tangerine. All right, so wait. So when was so when was citru Crazy Citrus Cooler? 06, discontinued in 07. So I'd rather drink this. <laughs> That's 10 years, yeah. 10 years fresher. Sealed, expired. $18, insert only. It's not bad. That's the problem. That's what's gonna make this difficult, is like, we're gonna be looking for the old one, and it's just gonna be a bunch of stuff from the 2016 release, which we don't want. Oh. Oh, that's not a good color. Uh oh, 89? Oh. 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 Oh, that's murky. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. I don't know if I would sip that, my dude. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's the color of Robitussin, dude. Oh. oh. How much is it? Uh, eight hundred dollars. <laughs> no, it's. <laughs> and that's uh, that's the buy it now price. We can make an offer. <laughs> uh, but can you make an offer of you pay me thirty dollars to try this thing, please? Oh, I think our best option is to go for the the Ghostbusters Afterlife one. If we want to try the taste, if we want to taste Ecto Cooler. Right. Put it on the back burner. Yeah. Like, leave this tab open. Yeah. I say we go further. Like at this point, I think we should bring in some sort of expert. And that's exactly what we did. We turned to Sean Robert, co-host of the Cult Film Club podcast, who you might have seen on the Monster Squad documentary, The Wolfman's Got Nards, John Riggs, a retro game YouTuber and publisher, and author of his own retro book, Nostalgia O's, Roger Barr, who created iMockery.com and video games like Cyanide and Happiness, Freak Apocalypse, and A Bobo's Big Adventure, and Jason Liebig, a junk food historian and host who's like the Indiana Jones of snacks, for their input on where we might be able to find not just Ecto Cooler, but a lot of the stuff we're looking for. So assuming that we've like gone through all those regular channels of like eBay, <laughs> I mean, we've seen some real dark shit on eBay. I have a particularly interesting set of skills yeah. to- Yeah, uh, <laughs> exactly. Right. Well, it's technically Ecto Cooler. This is after they rebranded the Citrus yeah. Cooler. Um, 
I have one of these uh, juice boxes. I think this is from 2006. Um, this was a gift because this was one of the one of the few things that I didn't have in my ecto cooler collection. Well, as someone who's like actually had their hands and maybe lips on this stuff, <laughs> what what color was it when you like opened it and poured it out? Uh, there was like a very brownish sludge-like version, and then there was the the green version with the chunks in it. <laughs> the green version with the chunks, the chunks. Is is really? I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, it's it's common. Unopened food is really tough. Um, by design, it doesn't survive. You know, it. Uh, people, are, you know, I always like to describe because I when people tell me, "Oh, do you have like archives of old food?" And I said, "No, man. One of the first things I try to do when I get something, even if I get something that's very old and still has food in it, is divorce the food from the packaging. I see. I'm trying to archive and preserve the stuff. I can help where I have an extra piece of a exo cooler." Packaging that if you guys want this, mm. it's totally up for grabs. You can oh just my God. have it. The thing that we are nostalgic, nostalgic for, um, that doesn't exist in that box anymore. It's become mm. this other thing. Right. Mm. If you have access to Juicy Juice, uh, like the Mandarin Orange one, that is a dead on. That is Ecto Cooler. It is no, there's no question about it. I think there's even a company. Like I think they're even attached to Coke somehow. And it might, they might be using a very similar recipe. So if you want to taste Ecto Cooler, I do. That's again Juicy Juice, the the Mandarin Orange one. Straight up, that's Ecto Cooler. I'll I'll ask around. I I, uh, I can I can drop a few messages here and see if I can find something for you. We appreciate that, especially considering yeah. that when it comes to the original stuff, which is equal parts elusive and dangerous to drink at this point. <laughs> what did the sludge yeah. smell like? Yeah. Yeah. Because on eBay there are these options, not the brown. Yeah. Not Never the eight hundred dollar brown bottle. Not the eight hundred not the grand to die. Yeah. yeah. Right? I don't want to pay eight hundred dollars to die. I don't want to do that. Yeah. But maybe a hundred or so to maybe die off twenty sixteen or twenty nineteen. Ghostbusters twenty sixteen, gettable. Ghostbusters twenty nineteen, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Yeah. Influencer only, the price is much higher than the Was it? Than the twenty sixteen stuff, yeah. The original like okay at least we got for sure the original formula we know that's the real and thing 2019 is like all right we've got the least poisonous one yeah 2016 is like pretty poisonous yeah it's maybe po it's more poisonous pretty poisonous but it's like made in modern times yeah made in modern times i remember i was a, i was the man i am today watching that movie We've asked and asked and asked for this, and now we have it. Now that it's here, I'm very, very nervous. This one, this one's gonna be scary. So first, let's open this package from Sean. Sean Robert? Sean Robert was able to send this to us. Wow. Dude. Wow. Dude. We also went to the store and looked for mandarin, orange, or tangerine juicy juice. Not a thing you can find in the store regularly. You have to order for that. John, just before we hung, uh, stopped talking to him, he found within his uh, collection something that he could. He was willing to part with. I see. Wow! Wow! Cooler. Wow! Ghostbusters 2016. Available only for what? A couple months. Okay, November 14th. That hasn't happened yet. Oh yeah. Uh, 16. <sighs> ah, it's over! Did you see the color? It's. <gasps> oh! It's not the right color. Oh! Oh, <laughs> what is that? Is that chunk? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, it smells like uh, um, it smells like the okay. Very specifically, the carnation cardboard top ice cream that you eat with a piece of wood. Oh wow! And you smell the the the, 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 wood? the, the cardboard top of that ice cream oh. to the rest of our lives. Nice working with you, Mr. Faciani. Indeed. I'll see you on the other side. Give me a call. Not that bad. Bad. Really? Yeah. You're going in again? If I do, will you? No. <laughs> you want to lick that ice cube right there? How much will you give me? Ten dollars. Fuck you! <laughs> Mine's not that bad. Whatever you think this tastes like, you're wrong. To me, it tastes like what I imagine, um, like an al like an alizé, like. <laughs> 
It tastes like, like a mad dog. It tastes like a like hobo wine that's orange flavored. Mm. It's like really just barely like somebody was like, wait, it doesn't taste like anything. And then they were like, oh, let's like put some like medicine orange flavoring in there. Uh, let's go make some other people try it. Yeah, all right. Fresh off the promotional campaign from the 2016 Ghostbusters film. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Do you want a, a, a glass or would you like to just go blind? Is it... Am I, I going to be upset if I see what this looks I'll like? I'll tell you what. I don't me, know. Me and Brett had a glass. Yeah. And after we had a glass, most people ask to not look at it afterwards. <laughs> I'm gonna shake it. Okay. Woo! First off, hold on. I gotta. Oh! oh you too can get this hat if you go to patreoncom bros. I'd like a glass. Oh! <laughs> Ted, that's enough. Should I put it in the glass? Oh, no, you're good. You're good. It's. It. I think it's okay. It's you're chunky, good. isn't it? <laughs> Oh, it's slimy. It's fucking slimed up. There's chunks in that. Yep. So on the gargle is when the flavor actually hit. Oh! Oh! That's <laughs> better or worse than you expected. Oh! It tastes pretty good. Okay, you're done, you're done, you're done. Don't drink anymore. I think I've thrown up more beautiful stuff than that. We used to get Monster Energy drinks in the office. And one of them was Gronk flavored. And then one time, we poured it in a glass. Why is there stuff floating in this glass? Mm. And we checked every Gronk, and they all had these same bits floating in it. Also, maybe it's not that bad. <laughs> so does it- It just keeps coming. So does it take you back or? Tastes far less citrusy and more just like apple juice. That doesn't remind me of childhood. <laughs> it tasted like childhood. It's not awful. It looks appalling. I don't want to use the word, but globule. It's fine. Like I didn't. <laughs> Does it tastes like ecto cooler. Y yeah, kind of. It, the memory's there, right? It tastes really flat. I done fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it like? Shasta almost? It's weird. Weird, cardboardy, orange. It tastes like what I would imagine it tastes like, but I don't know if that's accurate. Why does it kind of taste like coffee? <laughs> I guess we're gonna keep fucking up, right? <laughs> I'm hoping that our further hunts for things are more fruitful than our, than our Ecto Cooler one. I appreciate this. I wanna be clear. I love that we got here. Oh. You know, this is like the non-sexiness of science and history. You know, like Indiana Jones is like a, is, is like a fallacy. You're never gonna have that awesome of a time digging up something from the past. This is mm. when it's actually like, I learned something. I'm gonna go watch Ghostbusters Afterlife finally this week. Yeah, let me know what you think. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad we did this. Not many people have probably done this. No. I'm glad we took a risk. Yeah. I love taking risks. As long as it doesn't get me later. As long as that wasn't botulism. Right. I, I, I don't know either. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We could, could we could end up looking like this guy. This could be my last moments of normalcy in my whole life. Which is exactly what I was saying. Yep. <laughs>